Yes, this comes after cop syrups made in India were linked to the deaths of children in Gambia and Uzbekistan. Timzi Jaipuri is standing by with the details. Timzi, take us through the action that the government intends to take. Well, that's right. What sources have told CNBC TV18 is that the cuff syrups manufactured for exports from India continue to remain under government radar. CDSCO, that is the Indian drug regulator, in its recent report has found 54 firms manufacturing not of standard quality cuff syrups. Remember, after the deaths reported globally post-consuming Indian-made cuff syrups, DGFT, that is the DG for foreign trade, has made it mandatory for exporters to seek government clearance on quality of cuff syrups. Noting this uh, DGFT requirement, the Indian regulator has been testing all the batches of cup syrups which seek export permission. Till October 2023, out of two, 2014 test reports, 128 have been found not of standard quality which were manufactured by 54 firms across India. Just to give a break up how the data comes in, these are the reports, testing reports reported from Gujarat, Mumbai, Chandigarh, Ghaziabad, etc. from the testing labs. Just to give a break up of top four testing facilities, Gujarat analyzed about 385 samples out of which 51 samples manufactured by 20 firms were found of not of standard quality. Similarly, 10 firms were found manufacturing not of standard quality samples in Mumbai. Chandigarh tested 10 firms not of standard quality manufacturing of cup syrups. And Ghaziabad has also tested 9 firms found with not of standard quality manufacturing. Apart from this, when we spoke to the Drug Controller General of India on this, he said that this is a routine practice to, the, to test samples, batches of cuff syrups to be exported. India is keeping a strong vigil on the quality norms and those found not meeting these quality tests will be failed. Manufacturers post this are free to remanufacture the batches, put them for fresh testing. Batches can be exported only once. They get a go-ahead on WHO-based quality norms, and this is an ongoing exercise. Let's see how many more samples will be ruled out when it comes to export of cough syrups. Timzi, many thanks for joining us.